In this video, I'm going to be walking you through my process for sculpting this Jolly Saint Nick uh, Santa Claus sculpture done with microcrystalline wax. We're going to be talking about the material a little bit, the sculpting process, as well as a special discount offer if you're interested in any of the sculpting courses that you can find over at Proca.com. So let's get into it. So materials and references, I have this reference image of Santa Claus. I have a wire armature that I've made ahead of time. If you're interested in armatures, you can find a video that goes over my favorite method for building armatures. This armature is a little bit simpler because it's made with a thicker wire. And I have my microcrystalline wax. I put this in a bag and put it in warm water so that it's nice and soft for this early stage where I'll be moving a lot of material. It's a great wax to use for sculpting if you're just going to be sculpting by hand, which I'm going to be doing in this sculpture. You might want to use another material like a polymer clay that you can bake in an oven so that you can get a finished sculpture that's hardened so that you can display it or paint it. I'm also using a small plywood base. I also have some aluminum foil that'll help to build out the bulk of the sculpture so I don't need to use as much wax. So I'm going to start by posing the armature making sure that I'm capturing the gesture of the pose and add in that aluminum foil to fill out the midsection. Then I'll attach the armature to the base. If you use a polymer clay that's a little bit more expensive, you'll probably want to build out more with aluminum foil. You'll want to sculpt most of it with aluminum foil and that way you don't need as much clay and it's less expensive. Once I've filled in the midsection with that aluminum foil, then I can take a small layer of wax and cover most of the figure. Now I'm just going to add clay throughout the figure, trying to get the general mass of the sculpture in place. So there's a lot of mass in the midsection. This is a rotund figure. This is a big Santa Claus. One of the main principles that I always go back to is starting thin and then slowly building out the mass of the sculpture with pieces of clay, or in this case, wax. And I'm gonna make sure that I've captured the pose or the gesture of the figure. And so we're gonna be using a lot of sculpting material, in this case, wax, to fill out that figure. And this wax, once it cools down to room temperature, becomes somewhat firm, but it's still a fairly soft wax. So I've been using this microcrystalline wax to do these little gesture studies, and I really have fun with them. The texture is very distinct, and so it's not something that everybody likes. Because this wax doesn't play well with tools, it's very sticky when it comes to wood tools or metal tools. So you have to do most of the sculpting by hand. But if you enjoy this kind of fingerprint filled, sketchy style of sculpture, I'd call it, then this can be really fun for gesture studies and things like that. I kind of like this style of adding each piece of clay and kind of being able to see that fingerprint and the story of where you're putting each piece of clay on top of another and building out the figure that way. Now, as I'm building out the sculpture, let me tell you a little bit about the sale that's going on. You can use discount code 12 days for 15% off of any of the Proco courses or digital tools. So if you're interested in sculpting or drawing, painting, anatomy for artists, caricature, they have so many amazing courses. So I hope you'll check out all of those courses and take advantage of that discount, especially if you're interested in sculpting. That obviously really helps me out and it helps the channel out. Thank you everyone who has supported by purchasing the figure sculpting course or the portrait sculpting course. It means a lot to me and it helps us continue to share the joys of sculpture and creating art with all of the Proco people out there. Now I'm gonna be sculpting the hands. The nice thing about sculpting these hands is they are in mittens. It makes it a lot more manageable. But even if you're sculpting realistic hands, sometimes starting out with this simple mitten, as if the hand was just two forms, the thumb and then the rest of the fingers, that's something that I've seen professional sculptors do. And it's a really effective way of getting a basic idea of the size of the hand, the proportion of the hand and the thumb, the gesture of the hand, before you start adding the details of the fingers. As far as tools, I didn't use much. Like I said, this wax is mostly for sculpting by hand, but I did use a small homemade loop tool. If you're interested in my method for building those tools, you can find that in the video that goes over tools for sculpting and how to make your own tools. I just used this for taking out some of the wax in the mouth area. That was pretty much the only tool that I used. Now I'm coming in and sculpting the details of the face, 
Again, trying to keep things simple. The only thing that I'm worrying about or keeping in mind is trying to get the proportions about right so that the features are about in the right area. The nice thing about sculpting using a single reference is that it really does help you to understand the things that you're not that sure about because then I know the areas of the body that I could use a little bit more studying. But with these wax gesture studies, I don't have to worry too much about the details. To make Santa's bag, I grabbed one of these chamois. I call them chamois in art school, that's what they call them. But I think it's some sort of thin animal leather. It's very soft and I've used it to blend charcoal. If I'm doing a sketch or a drawing in charcoal and I want to blend an area, I'll use this chamois to kind of blend that charcoal all around. And you can kind of see those charcoal marks on this chamois that I'm using. So I just crumpled it up into a ball with a tail coming off to be the opening of the bag. Then I used a safety pin to hold the ball together and then a piece of wire that I wrapped tightly around the opening of the bag and that I could wrap around the arm on the sculpture where he's holding the bag and add clay to that so that it wouldn't move. I also added clay to the safety pin in the back so that it wouldn't shift once the sculpture was done. I really enjoy this loose, sketchy way of approaching the figure, not being too serious about it, and just trying to make a fun sculpture. That's the goal. Have fun with it. And then I'm going to come with that loop tool and give some texture to just the beard area. All right, and there we have one Santa Claus sculpture. Saint Nicholas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. This was a really fun sculpture and something fun that we can display now next to the Christmas tree. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see me sculpt in the future. Be sure to check out the portrait sculpting course at proco.com slash portrait sculpt and the figure sculpting course at proco.com slash sculpture. Okay, as always, stay creative, stay productive, take advantage of the sale if you're interested in the courses, and I'll see you in the next video. Merry Christmas.